Do you know what hole in the wall is? Well, I'm going to explain it to you no matter what. So, haha. Hole in the wall was originally a game show made for television in Japan. It was named, um... No Kabe. Oh yeah, that. Which in English means brain wall. Because you have to use your big brain to win the challenge. The concept of brain wall is pretty simple. A giant styrofoam wall would hurdle itself towards a person standing next to, like, a bunch of water. The person would then have to match the position cut out in the wall so they don't fall in the water and die. Soon, literally every country in the world made their own version of brain wall, and all the different shows started roughly from around 2007 to 2012. And at some point, the name of the show was changed from brain wall to the show I'm the most familiar with started in 2010 and aired on the TV channel Cartoon Network because like, come on, this is definitely the best cartoon. Although the show had a very short life on Cartoon Network, I thought the show was amazing because man fall in water, haha. A couple years later, Simon Hypixel realized that Hole in the Wall was the best thing ever and decided to create a game on the Minecraft server Hypixel based after it. Developing Hole in the Wall into Minecraft seems kind of challenging because all that Minecraft players can do is crouch, jump, and run, which does not allow for all the complex motion required in the Hole in the Wall show. So the devs decide that instead of players, you know, going through a wall, they would just place blocks. Genius. Now, that brings us to the most important question. Is the game fun? Yeah, I would say so. Okay, so when you first join the game, you're greeted by a lobby, you know, like most games. And in the lobby, there is actually a tutorial on how the game works, which is pretty cool. And unlike the soccer game, I mean football, the lobby is not the actual game map. They made a dedicated lobby, which, you know, gets a round of applause from me. And speaking of tutorials, let me explain how the game works. Okay, so how the game works is a wall of terracotta moves towards a player on a wooden platform, and you have to place blocks to fill in the holes in the terracotta. This can be difficult because, you know, look at that, some of the blocks are in the middle of the wall, so you have to place blocks in order to be able to reach, you know, your desired location. Then you have to break the trail that you created, which is similar to the time I got abducted by aliens, where they actually tried to erase my memory, but I escaped before they could do so. Anyway, on the platform, there are two lovers, and if you happen to pull them, they bring the wall instantly to your location for it to absorb the blocks that you placed. The game is also gracious enough to give players the ability to fly so, you know, you can actually be able to have a chance to complete walls in time. And you know, as the game goes on, more challenge is added by the wall moving faster and it having, you know, a little more holes. Oh my gosh, this thing's moving so fast. I don't have enough time to complete it. I'm just going to do it now. Oh, all my blocks were off. 